Hi guys, my name is Martin Hudak and I'm very happy to be here in uh, Guangzhou uh, together with the Hope and Sesame family. Um, so I recently left the Savoy, American bar in London and uh, I decided to move to Australia to catch up a little bit of sun and a uh, more easy lifestyle but at the same time working quite hard on a new project where we are going to open very soon, uh, maybe semi, first five-star hotel bar, Minus Hotel. Uh, we do a great bar personalities and uh, at the same time I start roast my own coffee, running my own coffee consulting business and working for the international very famous coffee liquor called Mr. Black. Black. So uh, I would say I don't have pretty much free time but I'm doing everything with the love and passion so cheers. Espresso Martini and Irish Coffee, especially those two coffee cocktails, they are so famous and respected. But honestly, it's it's history, right? Because like those things happen, and we should think about the future. You know, what's the next step? And we should always try to improve something. And uh, in being in this coffee cocktail industry for ten years, I really see big improvement and difference going back in time and now. So I see many. Cocktail bars start using good quality coffee, roasting even good quality coffee like here in this beautiful place where we are right now. But at the same time, I see lots of cafes start using spirits. So the coffee cocktail trend is like right now booming and hopefully it's going to carry on like that. You know, like I think for me, coffee cocktail needs to be made with good quality coffee. The same way like you use good quality whiskey or gin or vodka, you need to have good quality coffee. Like all of us bartenders, we're using like the high premium spirits, we're using homemade infusions and syrups. And then when we talk about coffee, we really don't care about it, you know. And I think that's something we need to improve, that, that line between respect for coffee and respect for alcohol. And uh, I, I, I see it now, to, it's getting better, but still, just because we don't know, that much about coffee, that doesn't mean we don't need to like respect it. You want to start doing coffee, you can do like cold brew infusions, you know, we're talking about historical thing like cold brew coming from Japan, like we're talking about fifth century and it's so easy, you just like dump coffee in the water overnight, you don't need like any heating, you don't need any, you know, energy, just leave it there, strain and you have it. So there are options which you can use, definitely. Yeah, you said like Australia, London, yeah, it's there, it's already there, right? It's, it's happening. I think Asia in general. It's hard to specify which region in Asia, but like I saw recently Hong Kong and Singapore booming. Like all hotel bars doing coffee cocktail branches, doing coffee cocktails. It's just happening. I think Asia is going to be the next step. Because Asia can adapt very quickly and if something is trendy, they take it so fast and they make it the best as they can. And I see it here in terms of like, like look at the cocktail culture, you know, like five, seven, eight years ago, there were like no cocktail bars. Okay, we had 28 Hong Kong Street and like, bam, you know, the same with the coffee. This, this is the market. Yeah, yeah. Whatever happened, it's fun. You need to have fun. <laughs> 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 oh, we're doing such a good great party in the world, isn't it?